What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and welcome to the Keep It Techie channel. And today we're going to talk about a career that has been a huge part of my journey in tech and that's being a database administrator. Now, I've spent the last eight years working as a DBA for various organizations. And let me tell you, it's been a thrilling ride. Now, if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of my tech deep dives. Now, let's get into the world of database administration and see if it's the right fit for you. What exactly does a database administrator do? Well, in simple terms, a DBA is responsible for managing, securing, and taking care of databases that store and organize a organization's data. And this role is crucial because databases are the backbone of nearly every application today. And that's from financial software to social media platforms. And DBAs ensure that data is available, also protected from loss and corruption and easily accessible when needed. They also work on optimizing database performance and managing data recovery and back of solutions. Think of DBAs as the guardians of data, ensuring everything runs smoothly and efficiently behind the scenes. And the skills required can vary, but generally you'll need strong problem solving skills, familiarity with database languages like SQL, and an understanding of database management software. But how do you start this journey? Let's find out. Now, becoming a database administrator is a rewarding journey that combines education, hands-on experience, and continuous learning. And let's go through a detailed guide on how to navigate this path. So the first step is to build a strong educational foundation. A degree in computer science, information technology, or a related field is essential because this provides the technical skills and theoretical understanding necessary for managing complex data systems. So you should focus on subjects like database design, data structure, and programming fundamentals. And for those who prefer a non-traditional route, intensive coding boot camps that focus on databases and SQL can also serve as a robust entry point into the field. Now next, specialization is key in the world of database administration. So you should look for opportunities to take specialized courses in database management as part of your degree program. Additionally, obtaining certifications can be incredibly beneficial. For instance, the Oracle Certified Professional MySQL database administrator. There's also the Microsoft SQL Server certifications that are out there or the MongoDB certified DBA or all valuable certifications that will make your resume stand out. And these certifications not only validate your skills, but also show potential employers that you are committed to your profession. Now, another thing is gaining practical experience. So while theoretical knowledge is vital, there's no substitute for hands-on experience. So you should start with internships or entry-level positions that allow you to work under experience experienced DBAs. And this will help you gain insight into the daily responsibilities and challenges of a DBA. Also try to get involved in projects that require you to design, maintain, and troubleshoot databases. This practical experience is crucial for understanding how to apply your theoretical knowledge in real world scenarios. Now, to me, this is the most important step and that's mastering database tools and software. Proficiency in these specific tools tools is essential for any DBA. So begin with mastering SQL as it's the standard language for database management and manipulation. And then you should familiarize yourself with different database systems like MySQL for relational databases, MongoDB for NoSQL database solutions, about database security, backup procedures, and disaster recovery solutions will also be crucial. Now, additionally, Understanding cloud-based database management systems such as Amazon RDS or Microsoft Azure SQL databases can open up more opportunities in cloud data management. Now, the last thing I wanna cover is the tech field is always evolving and so are database technologies. So keeping your skills up to date by pursuing additional certifications, attending workshops, as well as participating in conferences, these are super important in order to stay on top of 
what's going on in the industry. Also, online courses can help you stay current with the latest database technologies and best practices. So joining professional networks or forums dedicated to database management can definitely provide support and enhance your learning. That's one of the things I do on LinkedIn. I'm a part of a lot of professional groups and networks, and this will definitely keep you informed about industry trends and job opportunities as well. So that's a wrap on what it takes to become a database administrator. It's a role that combines technical skills, problem solving, and a bit of detective work when things go wrong. And believe me on the detective work, that's something I do a lot. Now, if you love databases and ensuring that critical systems operate without a hitch, this could be the perfect tech career for you. Now, did you find this video helpful? Hit that like button and drop a comment below. Maybe share your experience with databases or ask any question you have about becoming a database administrator. I love to hear from you. Now, don't forget to subscribe to the Keep It Techie channel for more insights into tech careers and tips and navigating the tech world. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And of course, keep it techie.